pay in court for Walker supporters. Any phony name put on recall petitions will be getting a closer look. Fox 6 has been Handelman is live at the Waukesha County Courthouse with more on this story. Yeah, good evening. If you're a fan of bug Bugs Bunny, you would have been very happy in court today. His name was mentioned a lot, but while he's great for those Saturday morning cartoons, it's not so great when his name appears on recall petitions. And a, a, a judge ruled just about an hour ago that if those, the Government Accountability Board is now responsible for throwing out that name and other fake names. Now, this is a big win for the campaign of Governor Scott Walker, who did not feel the GAB was doing enough to get fake names like Bugs Bunny, Hitler, and Mickey Mouse off of the petitions, so they sued the state. Well, the GAB has argued it's always been the candidates' jobs to point out those names, but the judge disagreed. Counting a signature of Bugs Bunny is something only lawyers could try to make seem okay. The Government Accountability Board is obligated to take such reasonable steps to identify and strike duplicate signatures, two, to identify and strike signers that cannot be verified to be electors, largely relating to addresses and municipality, and three, to identify and strike fictitious names. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, it means that the GAV is now responsible for really throwing out those fake names. They have the discretion for how they're going to change their system. That could mean uh, hiring more people, maybe changing the rules for how they look at those petitions, but it will most certainly mean more money, money that Governor Scott Walker's campaign will now not have to spend. We are live in Waukesha County, Ben Handelman, Fox 6 News. But that's not to say Walker supporters still could not get involved, correct, and say, hey, we found this name, this name, and this name, and they seem pretty fishy to us. They're just not compelled to do so as they were before. That is true. I mean, this is a completely resource issue. Uh, in the past, it was completely Scott Walker's job to point out names like Bugs Bunny. And in past recall petitions, names like Bugs Bunny have gone through. Now it's sort of evened out. It's everybody's job to look at it. But yes, Scott Walker's campaign can certainly do it on their own as well. Ben Handelman reporting live. Thank you.